Good morning YouTube from a nice and warm sunny South Africa during lockdown time and today we're going to start with a DIY lithium iron phosphate uh, power wall like a battery backup so the reason for this project is a previous system that we built lithium iron um, which is 19 kilowatt hours of stored capacity and currently operating in the free state this is to provide a backup should there be should there be any failure of some sort and yeah we have the time now because it's locked down and we can't go far anyway so i thought it'd be fantastic to start a project on these lithium ion phosphate cells which is a bit different in chemistry they're safer and they would require a bit more cells in series to get to the same nominal voltage as the current lithium ion packs. With these lithium ion phosphate with a nominal voltage of 3.2 volts for, for 5 kilowatt hours we are going to need 16 cells cell packs in series and 23 in parallel so this right here is 23 and then we'll just multiply this by 16 so today I'm just thinking about how we're going to configure this are we going to remove some of the heat shrink to get straight to the bus bars to allow for a bit more current I'm obviously open for some ideas from your side and um, uh, are we going to stack these guys on top of each other uh, I think for, for this 23 that's going to be in parallel, we need to put them next to each other and then maybe do that four times for um, 4S on this side and then four times in this direction so that we get um, 16S. So four times four will then give us 16, a very nice compact 5 kilowatt hour. These little packs actually test above 4.5 amp hours per pack the claimed capacity four and a half amp hours if i can get this to focus there uh, four and a half amp hours per pack uh, they test about 4.6 4.7 some of them even 4.9 amp hours and they're nicely wrapped and so so i'm still wondering a bit if i should remove some of the heat shrink to straight go to the bus bob because we're definitely going to have a bit of voltage drop uh, through these thin um, cabling that's currently on them we can obviously cut off this little connector they are a bit um, the pin holes is is not your normal small pins they they're a bit they're a bit smaller um, than the ones that you can get on Arduino and that uh, so it's either I'm gonna cut off the cables and uh, or the, the connectors and connect the cables together or cut off some of the heat shrink the outer layer at least yes and um, connect directly to the bus bars and um, the point of this is to, to to make it as efficient and time efficient as possible the whole build but also a nice and neat pack we'll obviously also be adding voltmeters to each of the 16 packs so that you can visually monitor what's going on in the packs but what you also need to add is a 16s lithium iron phosphate bms so this will just provide your packs with safety uh, low temperature disconnect uh, protect them from overcharging and over discharging and if you get a nice bms you can actually see the info on an app on your phone over bluetooth it's nice info to use and to see what's going on in the packs and then you can address an issue before it becomes a big one so the voltage on this little pack uh, we can measure quickly from the positive to the negative of the battery 3.38 of from the cell pack uh, 3.38 volts meaning this one is basically full um, they can go their range is typically from 2.5 to 3.6 volts and the nominal is between 2.2 and 2.3 volts so this one is definitely um, close to the full side 
the one this one is stripped from its uh, heat shrink it gives it a very nice flat top and bottom surface you have the negative plate here at the bottom uh, negative bus bar coming off there to a little board and a positive one coming there from the top of the cells um, this might be very convenient actually for making the series connections when we're stacking them the four packs on top of each other um, of 23 and then between this bus bar and the other 23 we'll just connect one uh, thin uh, copper bus bar to allow for uh, the whole single pack 1s of that 23 to be to be at the same voltage level all the time and then from that we'll just add the the voltmeter to each of those 16 packs and that should provide us with some nice info and feedback as we go uh, yeah it's nice to be able to see what's going on maybe we're going to stack them four on top of each other four of these sets on top of each other and then four of those total towards me uh, to get to the 16s and um yeah 23 times 4.5 amp hours is just above uh, 100 amp hours which would if you multiply it by 52 volt nominal just for rough estimates would give you 5.2 kilowatt hours and seeing that the cell packs test a little bit above nominal um yeah we'll definitely i think we'll definitely be able to get five kilowatt hours out of the pack um, because you're obviously not draining it at such a high current if you are on small off-grid um, applications so yeah let me know in the comment section what you think about uh, this uh, little project uh, what you think we should do should we remove the heat shrink connect straight to the bus bars because there is a little bit of a bus bar coming off from them which should be nice for soldering purposes and uh, it should be easy to connect everything from that it i think it will obviously be easier to just take these black and red wires and connect from that but i'm a little bit hesitant for a uh, voltage drop when when bigger loads larger loads are being um, applied to the battery all right thanks let me know what you think of this um what i should do what what you guys think and um yeah i'll send i'll upload another video maybe in a week from now on the progress and um what i've done and yeah let me know if you think we should keep the heat shrink on it i know they look very nice with the heat shrink um but for building the pack i think for stackability this with the flat surfaces will be much nicer and you'll be able to do a much higher current draw from this bus bar than from these small very very thin cables um, coming from the from this little board on the cells so let me know what you think and um, yeah we're excited to get this project going and then we'll take it from there